The Ministry of Information, with all of its sectors, continues exerting efforts to provide the best media coverage for the 2022 parliamentary elections with a comprehensive plan titled Amending the Roadmap. With us is uh, Mr. Mazen Al Ansari, Acting Assistant Under Secretary for Foreign Media Affairs. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Mazen. Good afternoon. Mr. How are you, Yusuf? I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Mazen, can you please uh, tell us about the ministry's preparations and plans for covering the parliamentary elections as well as briefly what's going on in the media center? Sure. Okay, so first of all, uh, you're talking about the coverage. The, the coverage of this important democratic process. Uh, will be comprehensive and transparent. Uh, the different sectors at the Ministry of Information, including the television, the news, the radio, and uh, the new media sectors, will all be busy, first of all, with their promotional work by spreading the word and by informing the public, giving them uh, the important information they need to know through special programs, on, uh, such as the History of Democracy in Kuwait, and the Kuwaiti Constitution. Then there are interviews with specialists in the field of politics, in the field of law, uh, in the field of women's rights, uh, women's and women's expanding role in governance, and others. Uh, there will also be documentaries that explain how these elections may be different from elections in the past. As you know, uh, the title, the theme of the 2022 elections is uh, Amending the Roadmap. Tasih al Masar in Arabic. Mm -hmm. There are new criteria being implemented for these elections, which makes them uh, different from the past, with, uh, which with the main aim, which aim at increasing the voter turnout, making sure that voters vote in the area of residence by bringing along their civil IDs, as well as controlling some of the other issues that have proved to be problematic in the past. So these are just some of the examples of the promotional work being delivered by the Ministry of Information. Then, of course, the, when the elections take place on the 29th, on Thursday, all sectors of the ministry will be ready to deliver up-to-date coverage, minute by minute, uh, of all aspects of the elections, including the vote count, what everyone will be following, I think, uh, of course area by area, constituency by constituency, so that people are always updated and well informed. The live coverage will go on till the early hours of Friday morning, September 30th, when the results will be, the, the official results come out. As for the uh, foreign media coverage, the, the media center that you mentioned, mm -hmm. the Ministry of Information has invited around 80 media representatives from all over the world including journalists, chief editors, office managers, heads of think tanks, and other NGOs to witness firsthand this open and transparent democratic process that we here in Kuwait are very proud of. We have prepared a special hall for them, the media center at one of our hotels, mm -hmm. equipped with all the latest tools these guests may need to, uh, to conduct their daily work we look forward to this important democratic event, which we think will bear fruitful results and which will be of great benefit to the people of the citizens of Kuwait. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mazen, for all the effort that's being exerted uh, by you and the entire workforce. Mr. Mazen Al-Ansari with us. Thank you.